but unfortunately, insurance companies won't cover flood damage. So I was kind of on my own. You're on your own, and you've worked hard all your life, and uh, right now you're you're in your 50s, and yeah. uh, it's going to be more and more difficult to make the kind of scratch you need to uh, climb back out of this kind of a situation. Yeah. Any any savings I had uh, been dwindled away now, so I'm at the bottom of the barrel now. You know? So obviously the first time you lost your home, it was a fire and you were insured. Yes. How did it go with the insurance company this time? Uh, well, they basically just told me that there's no coverage for this type of damage. Now, were you aware that there was no coverage for this? Uh, yes, because I had tried to get flood insurance and they told me that it's not available. Because of the floodplain? Because of the floodplain. So either you live here or you don't. You kind of gamble. Exactly. And there's no option for insurance here? No. No. Not for that type of insurance. I am fully insured for everything but. Right. You know? So did you find that the city helped you out a great deal? Uh, or did you uh, did you talk to the city? Did you approach the city? Uh, I, I had been talking to them. And I know a lot of the times that we have these meetings and that I leave with more questions than answers yes I hear you you know like I mean I'm not even a hundred percent sure if the conservation is gonna let me rebuild on this property and I keep asking that same question and nobody has an answer for me so uh, hopefully someday that's your goal is to rebuild on your property of course you're paying for this property yes. and this house that's been condemned yeah. one of four houses that's been condemned in the bay from what I understand okay um, uh, and uh, so there's nothing you can do about that. The engineers have come in here and said that you, you can't live in this house. There's been four different engineers in here and went through it and checked it all out and everything. And they've all said the same thing. It needs to be condemned. And is it the mold or is it structurally compromised? Uh, structurally. Yeah. And the mold. We are just in there. Obviously, mold's a big issue, especially with drywall and carpet and such. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so right now you're on hold. There's uh, nothing you can do with this place except pay for it. That's it. Well, you live on your brother's couch. Yeah. And uh, who knows how long that's going to happen, right? You yeah. don't know. So do you have another plan uh, in case you you got to get out of your brother's place? or? Uh, not off the top of my head, but I'm right. checking out different resources and stuff like that. Right. So there'd be you and your wife. Me and my wife. Yeah, the two of you. And, and other than th that's the only family you have in the area or yeah yeah now when you had the fire the original fire whereabouts was that home uh right down beside the fire station so right you've been a constant <laughs> that's a tough place to have a fire yeah. <laughs> or a good place depending on how you look at it but that house was gone and obviously insured for that so you you're are you a constant bay guy you always have been i've been here 30 years 30 years so let's, um, let's, you said the water came right up to that doorknob there. Yeah. How's this garage, is it? Well, it's all crooked and quite a bit of damage to it. Okay, so you got two, uh, two structures here. The other structure there, you can see where the back of the golf cart is. There. Yes, yeah. Well, it, it was underwater, that golf cart, just the back of the seat was sticking up. Right. Now this is the, um, this is the bay side of Bay View. Correct. Uh, yeah. We're not on the river or the creek side of it, right? No, we're not on the back side. Yeah. Um, so all the water that happened, you say, came from, of course, uh, the Ottawa River, which was up about eight feet. But you say it didn't get over that road. It actually came up uh, underneath uh, from, the, from the sand, from, from the, the ground. ground. Yeah. yeah. So you, it's kind of like bubbling up. Well, between the two ditches running yeah. like this, I, I suspect I'm the lowest point here. Yeah, right. Because the water would run from both ends into this property. 